Welcome back to Cam's Corner 2.0. Super excited to bring you a new season of drills, tactics, shot progressions, all to help improve your games. This season, we're going to be working on what I call progressions, which is working through specific shots in multiple parts as we progress through making them more and more difficult. To start off with, we're going to have a four-part series on volleys, and we're going to progress through different types of volleys in four parts. First part today is volleys from the net. Now, we're talking about a double scenario here, and we're talking about the person playing up. Now, it's not just that simple. What we have is two positions that we want to be in when we're playing the net, all right? And that is second gallery and last gallery. And this position is determined by where the ball is on the receiver's end of the court. So if the ball is in the return of serve corner, we want to be back at last gallery. And if the ball is in the grill tambour corner, we want to be up at second gallery. So those are our two positions. Within that, we need to gauge our distance from the galleries in the middle of the court. What I often see is people hiding against the gallery wall. And what that means is that they're all right to hit forehands, but if that ball gets inside towards their left hip, they can't access their backhand. It makes it very limited. So what I want to see is you line yourself up with the edge of the datum, the corner of the datum. And that is your line. That is how far away from the galleries you should be. Because what that allows you to do is take one full step in to hit your backhand volley and defend the galleries, and also take one step in to get to that forehand in the middle of the court to help your partner cover the court. And then from our progression point, remember we talked about our last gallery, second gallery, we just follow that line forwards and backwards depending where the ball is in the court. If the ball goes back to the return of serve corner, we back up to last gallery, but we've stayed on our line. If the ball goes cross court to the grill, we just come straight forwards to second gallery. So now that we have our positioning straight, we need to work on our actual swing. A volley swing should be very, very firm wrist and a very, very short swing. In fact, we want absolutely no backswing on our volley. What I want to see is a turn and the racket head staying nice and high, arm elevated, and I want to see you step towards that ball, right, stepping in just like we would any other shot, and waiting for that ball to come and touch the strings before we push forward with our racket head finishing high, okay? I don't want to see you pulling down, and I don't want to see that wrist getting involved in our swing. So yet again, we start in the middle, we turn, racket's up, we wait for that ball to get to the strings, and we push forward, finishing high. Your contact with that ball in the backhand should be on your front shoulder, and that contact on your forehand should be more in the middle of your chest to almost your back shoulder. All right, so from the forehand progression side, we would turn, racket comes back, yet again, it's in line with our back shoulder. We step in, we wait for that ball to get to the strings, and we push forward, finishing with the racket head high. Okay, things to look out for are early contact. The earlier your contact is, the more likely you are to hit down on that ball because we've finished our swing. We wanna actually wait for that ball to get to us so that we can take it within our shoulders in the middle of our swing, right? We don't wanna be reaching out for it, all right? And then our spots, location-wise, from, from here should always be cross court. We should just always aim at that tambour grill area. So the most effective area for us to get the volley back to, we're going over the low part of the net, attacking the receiver's end of the court. All right, so real quick to go through it again, we start in the middle, right? We have our line forwards and backwards from last gallery to second gallery. When that ball comes in, we split step, we turn, racket comes up, we step in, we wait for the ball, and we finish nice and high, weight going through the shot. Same thing with the forehand, we start, we come in, we split step, racket's up, waiting for that ball to get to us, finishing with that racket high through our contact. Now I'm gonna have, have Dacre feed me some balls, and I'm gonna show you what this shot should look like so that you can get a real gauge on how to hit it.